The Deputy Majority Leader Alexander Penyoma King took issue with some media outlets for reporting comments he allegedly made on the floor of Parliament on Thursday. There was a vehement disagreement, however, from his colleague on the front bench of the minority, Chief Whip Muntaka Mubarak. Individuals are sharing it on their social media handle without even recourse to me. And this morning, I mentioned Nanaba Namwa as one of those who has fallen victim to this mischief. And she is also proceeding with mischief. And it must not, it must not happen. It could be somebody tomorrow. We must say that free speech must not be taken for granted. Mr. Speaker, I'm not opening this. And I agree with you that you're running this stance. Mr. Speaker, I forwarded a video to you. I know because you are sitting where you are, probably you didn't listen to it. Mr. Speaker, I can see the anger in my colleague, and I agree with him. He has every reason to be upset. But I can say on authority, yes, I wasn't here. I've listened to the tape like 10 times. Was Ukraine evacuation mentioned? Yes, it was mentioned. Was illegal mentioned? Yes, it was mentioned. So you see, you don't determine the editorial policy of a uh, 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 news. You will not be happy. You can write to either media commission and raise your concern. But I can beg you, the video is here, I can send it to you. You mentioned Ukraine evacuation and you link it to ELB uh, approval. Here, the video of one is the speaker. If you challenge this, I can play it now for all of us in this chamber to hear. So please, let's not take our anger onto the floor when you know that Joe Ever doesn't have audience on this floor. And we, you and I are politicians, and we know the avenues to address when a newspaper or a news media does something you don't like. But you cannot try to take advantage of your presence in the chamber at the disadvantage when you know they don't have hearing in the chamber. And the speaker has you. They are leadership to go and sit, to put our heads together, to be able to come out with something. You are insisting that you want a solution now. If it is the solution you want now, I have listened to the tape more than 20 times. You mentioned Ukraine, evacuation will cost money. And it is the reason we should leave all this politicking. Dollar is having challenges. That is why e living has been approved. You said it. The video is here. I've shown it to all of them. So you might disagree the way they, they captured the headline. But it is not for us to tell a news reporter how the headline should be. The second deputy speaker indicated that the matter will be handled at the level of leadership. You have heard this. I know you went beyond board. You can do the need for. But my ruling still stands that leadership will meet and discuss the matter. Earlier, the deputy majority leader indicated that the president would not present the State of the Nation address as scheduled on 3rd March. Let me speak at last week Friday. We have indicated that the State of the Nation could be taken on the 3rd of March 2022. This indicating date has, however, been um, put on ice by us and would duly communicate a new date to the House after we have um, engaged the presidency. MP for Bursa South, Dr. Clementa Park, demanded to know why the event had been postponed. The earlier indication that His uh, Excellency the President will be addressing the nation on March the 10th to quote him has been put on ice. And I think it will only be fair to know why that has been put on ice. Whereas I believe as a nation with the conditions currently facing us, we are all anxious to hear what the state of the nation is. So if it has been put on ice, I believe we should get an indication as to why it has been put on ice. The question around the e-levy and its um, work, work on the e-levy before the House still lingers, many um, are calling, especially from the minority, for government to be bold and bring it up for work discussion and passage or otherwise once and for reporting for City News from Parliament. My name is Duke Mentopoku.